the the church gossip and the self-appointed keeper of the morals uh, she noticed <laughs> one of the parishioners at the church noticed that his truck had been parked overnight out in front of the local bar so the next day she begins calling around everybody from church saying that you know this fellow is a drunk uh he was in the bar all night last night well this you know this gossip gets around town and it all comes back to this fellow that said really you were in a bar all night last night and you know the guys you know he didn't say a word didn't say a word at all but he you know he he knew it had come from the church's gossip so uh <clears throat> that night he took his pickup truck parked it in front of this lady's house and walked away and left it parked there overnight <laughs> um i guess that's how you get back how you get even with a gossip i i don't know but gossip you know it's really interesting question number four in our study guide is uh, is rather interesting question number four says do i refrain from talking about others or do i gossip freely and i you know i'm reading over this list on dependability you know we're studying the christian <laughs> attribute of dependability and i'm thinking why is gossip in here <laughs> Why is gossip a uh, a demonstration that we're not dependable? Well, we're going to talk about that today on Transforming the World. Thanks for spending time with me today. I'm glad you could join me. My name is Pastor Greg. All right, question number four is kind of confusing, as I had said, as we looked at uh, the topic of dependability. It's rather confusing. Well, one mark of dependability, as we have said earlier, is trustworthiness. You know, we are a trustworthy individual. We are dependable. Um, and it is a reflection of our trustworthiness. Now, a gossip, I think there are there are certain styles of gossip. I, I think we ought to um, we ought to start right there. There's there's slanderous gossip that uh, 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 slanderous gossip is basically spreading lies about another person, uh, which is what this the gossip at the church did about the one fellow who whose truck just happened to be parked in front of a bar all night long. And then consequently, the next night was parked in front of her house. We all know that you're drunk because it was in front of the bar. I wonder what she said when the truck was parked in front of her house. Anyway, you know, that's, that's slanderous gossip. That's spreading a lie. Uh, that's, that's sharing an untruth about an individual. And, you know, that's, that's just one of the ways that we gossip. But one of the other ways that we gossip is taking something that had been shared in confidence and spreading it around to others. Uh, and, and I think that's the style of gossip that, uh, that we're supposed to be thinking about here is when someone shares with us some information and trusting that it would be held in confidence and then we don't, that is a form of gossip. It is. But it is also a demonstration of our untrustworthiness and also a demonstration that we are not dependable. I cannot depend on Bill or Frank to uh, to keep, keep what I share with them, keep private what I share with them, to keep it a secret. They can't, you know, I can't depend on these individuals to keep a secret. So consequently, in my, my eyes, they're not dependable. And so I never confided in them again because they they broke my confidence or or, or broke my trust. For you know, you know you know what I'm talking about the the kind of person that you you find out that everybody else in church knows what you shared with Bill or Frank, and you're, you're like, why would you do that? I mean, I shared that with you in confidence. 
And so Bill or Frank, as I said, we can no longer depend on them. We can no longer trust them because they are no longer dependable. Actually, the gossip, uh, you know, let's, let's just take a look at why gossip is, is, is so important here. The gossip, their lack of trustworthiness demonstrates that they have very little regard for the lives of others. Let me see if I can explain this and maybe you can understand what I'm talking about. You see, the gossip, when they get a hold of a piece of information, juicy information like that, and they don't think twice about sharing it, what's really happening there is the, the gossip has very little regard for the person who shared that information. They're not afraid to take that information and pass it along they don't think twice about it because they don't care how sharing that information might affect the person who uh, who shared that in confidence. Again, I share something in confidence with Bill and Frank, uh, two fictional people. I share something with Bill and Frank. And Bill and Frank, they they run and tell others all about it. And then it comes back and makes me look bad. People began to question me. People began to doubt me. What it, what it says is that Bill and Frank did not care how that information would affect me. All they cared about was passing along some gossip. So the gossip is not other focused. As I had said in the beginning, the beginning of dependability comes when we are other focused. The gossip is not other focused. They are self focused. They, they, they have little regard for how their actions might affect you or affect those around them. Now, of course, if this gossip just happens to claim to be a Christian, one has to question the depth of their Christianity if they have little regard for the life of those around them. You know, how sincere is your Christian faith when you don't care how your actions affect those that uh, those that uh, the other people in church or those that you work with or those that you go to school with? So the untrustworthy person does not demonstrate the Christian characteristic of agape love. Agape love is desiring what is good and best for others. Uh, agape love puts ourselves second. And so the Christian, the untrustworthy person who does not demonstrate the Christian characteristic of agape love is, uh, they simply do not view others as people of value and worth. Actually, these folks, they use others for personal gain. Their life is more important than anyone else. I would, as I said, I would question the depth of someone's Christianity if they, uh, if they really use gossip, if they really do gossip in that way. The depth of their Christianity, because they have, uh, to, to gossip is to have very little regard for the affairs of someone else. And that is not a demonstration of Christian love. So how, how committed to Christianity must this undependable, untrustworthy person be? The gossip. And that's why gossip is listed as a very serious sin when it comes to the commands of Christ, when it comes to the commands in Scripture. You know, that's why gossiping is, is really held up there as a, a very serious sin. Because the gossip, again, shows a little regard. For the life of those that you meet especially the the life of a wounded soul who comes to you in confidence and you break that confidence dependability trustworthiness is uh these dependability and trustworthiness these are the pillars that help us stand firm in our christian belief but gossip is like a sledgehammer that pounds against that foundation of our Christian faith. 
knocking away, uh, knocking away at the very foundation of our faith. The gossip loses dependability. They lose trustworthiness from the world around them. And, and we, we lose the ability to actually hold that person, uh, at, to view that person as a Christian. We really struggle with that. So that, that was really good. I think it was really good that the, uh, the author of this study guide included question number four in this discussion guide. Because I, I think it really fits. I really do. It's a very fitting question to ask. Do people see us as a gossip? And if we do, we are no longer trustworthy. We are no longer dependable. I would challenge you to do some serious thinking about how, how, how good of a job do we do? How good of a job do you do keeping other people's secrets in confidence? When somebody shares something with you, how good of a job do you keep that? How, how good of a job do you keep from spreading that? And the degree that uh, you resist gossip is also a degree of your dependability and trustworthiness. It's a good question. It's a very good thought. I think it's an important thing for us to ponder as we're taking a look at the Christian characteristic of dependability. Well, thanks for uh, spending some time today as we've examined another aspect of dependability. We're going to look at a man by the name of Boaz tomorrow. Great example. Great example of dependability. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. In the meantime, you've been watching Transforming the World, and my name is Pastor Greg.